I'm, you know, I'm like, you know what? Even if I run out of gas, it's okay. It's just mercury retrograde reminding me I should have kept my gas tank full. Um, the, the other thing that's going to happen is it's going to move back into uh, Capricorn, um, and it will finish the retrograde phase on January the 26th. Um, and the Capricorn phase, I think, is going to be, I want to say it's going to be right around January 12th. I, I didn't remember it, but one of, the, one of the things about it moving back into the sign of Capricorn is it's a good time to review your finances. So one of the things that would be good for you to do while this Mercury is retrograde, if you need to review your wills, if you need to review um, any uh, of the way your investments are, are being handled, this is a good time to do it. Um, with the Aquarian energy, uh, it's also a good time to clean out things. Always when Mercury is retrograde, cleansing is a great thing to engage in. As long as you follow what Mercury retrograde is designed to do, and see in our lives that we've created, right, we really don't have a sense of seasons anymore. We don't have a sense of rhythms anymore because we create air conditioning and heat and all these things that keep things in a certain pattern. And we also expect that we're always going to be moving at the same speed. Mercury retrograde is a reminder that we're supposed to slow down. So you have just entered Mercury retrograde as of January the 5th, and you get to enjoy it until January the 26th. Okay?